industry is badly hit, Dr. Goenka. Uh, some of the companies have publicly announced that they will not be laying off people at this moment. But we know, especially in the more unorganized sector, in the small and medium enterprises as well, there are lots of layoffs happening, as also in some big companies. How do we yes, ensure sir. that as few jobs that can be lost are lost? How do we ensure that as many people who can have jobs continue to have those jobs, despite people like you taking the hit that you are? Uh, Rahul, uh, you're right in saying that the announcements that have come have come from large OEMs, large companies, right? Uh, these are not the companies. Majority of jobs in automotive industry, for example, will there are more than 15,000 dealers in India, 50 lakh people. Now, you cannot really imagine the dealerships being able to pay their, uh, their employees uh, for much longer. Uh, because because uh, labor cost is about uh, five percent of the total cost uh, of, the, of the total revenue, uh, and 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 they clearly cannot sustain that. So somehow uh, in suppliers, especially smaller suppliers and dealers, uh, is where the big problem is going to be, and that's where the big employment is. Uh, and that's when I started saying that's the biggest problem. And now, uh, even though we know that government's uh, finance has stretched, this is some place where government has to step in to save jobs and to save wages for low, low wage earners as most countries have done. How can government uh, save jobs? What can governments do? Government is already deeply stretched. It's not as if our revenue situation was in the pink of health even before this. Sanjeev Puri, is it even fair to put all the owners in the government? A lot of big companies have said they won't be laying off, but that doesn't apply to others in that value chain. How can we try and ensure that there is minimum disruption to jobs? See, as I, as I was saying earlier, first, it is more important to see how we can revive economic activity in this challenging environment whilst taking care of safety of uh, people. Because that's the most, uh, that's the best way to, to sustain jobs, particularly in the small and medium enterprises and in the informal sector. Having said that, that alone will not be sufficient and some support will definitely be required because they will be sectors that will be under deep deep stress they will not be they will not have the capacity to do it right so i think the first step we have to take is to get the agri and manufacturing value chains to start operating at whatever capacities they can in this challenging environment in whatever demand situation uh, permits and then where there are uh, still stresses whether it's through management of liquidity, working capital, authors and options like Chandrajit was saying, I think step by step we'll have to take it and, and revive it. It'll have to be a combination. Industries have to do their bit and, and, and I think uh, it'll have to be a joint effort because they will be sectors that will be under deep stress and will certainly require support. Now one so of the sectors that's under deeper stress, stress is the aviation day. sector. But, you know, How many jobs have been lost, Ajay Singh, in the aviation sector so far? What are your what is your strategy to mitigate job losses at your own airline and in the aviation sector in general? Uh, well, uh, as you know, our revenues have come down to zero. There is uh, just uh, absolutely no flight, except of course for the ones that we, we are flying some relief flights and we are taking cargo, uh, you know, to different parts of the country and the world. So Spicer still has some revenue, but uh, for the most part, the revenues in the aviation sector have come to zero. Uh, that's clearly not a sustainable situation. We also have, you know, lease rentals that we have to pay for our aircraft. Uh, most airlines have aircraft that they have taken on lease, and uh, those have to be paid for irrespective. So uh, our fixed costs are relatively high, and uh, for that, we will need some support. Without that, of course, there will be job losses in the aviation sector. At this time, I think what, what most people are trying to do is to, is to uh, you know, send people on leave uh, without pay. Uh, so that uh, there is no job losses uh, per se, and as soon as the sector starts to come back, and as soon as the flights start, uh, uh, you know, start because to come back. people are supposed to survive, Mr. Ajay Singh. The fact is that you that still is, have some uh, reserves that you're sitting on. Most companies do. If you ask a young person with a wife, a family, a child to sit at home and say, we won't pay you for the next three, four months, we don't know what that period is, but for yeah. the foreseeable future, how are they supposed to survive? It's very difficult, Rahul. And uh, we, what we are trying to do is that at least at the bottom of the pyramid, where we have the, the, the lowest salaries, uh, you know, let's say salaries up to 30,000 rupees or so, uh, there we are trying very hard that, uh, that we are able to pay them a significant amount. Now, what we do know is that a lot of boardrooms are spending their time thinking about how life will change forever after COVID-19. 
So, let us uh, go around this virtual brainstorm and ask each of these uh, high flying executives how life will change at Mahindra and Mahindra once the imminent fear of COVID-19 is over and life more or less starts coming back to normal. What do you think, what do you anticipate Dr. Goenka, the new normal will look like? Well, there, there are several things that we are learning, uh, which are forced to learn uh, because of COVID-19, which I think hopefully will stay with us even after this. Uh, number one is work from home. Uh, and, and it was generally thought that in a manufacturing industry like Mahindra, uh, it is not practical to work from home. And of course, we cannot make uh, cars and tractors working from home, but a lot of the work can be done from home and that might change where a lot of us will get some time working from home. And that's going to have a lot of benefit because the traffic congestion, the use of, uh, use of energy, uh, all of these will, will, will go down. Second is that we are realizing that a lot more can be done without traveling than we thought uh, was possible. Uh, of course, all of us have been trying to do video conferencing and, and all that for quite some time. But now this has come to a limit uh, in, the, in the sense that everything can be done from home. And therefore, uh, I think uh, travel uh, will come down permanently. Uh, uh, Mr. Singh will not like to uh, obviously think about yeah, it. Singh but is holding is his hair and tearing it apart. Saying we're already in so much trouble, and here's one of India's biggest companies saying they're not they're going to try and reduce travel. Ajay Singh, uh, this is problematic, and this is true. A lot of people, especially when they went in for short meetings, now that everyone's used to Zoom, Hangout, they'll say, okay, we don't need to fly, we can just sit at home and do this meeting. That's even worse news. You've got a whole pyramid of bad news, and that just comes and sits right on top of that. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I, you know, this, some of this is going to happen. It's it's inevitable. So we have to adapt. What and does the new normal look like to you? Yes, what, what's yes, your forecast of what the new normal for SpiceJet in the aviation sector would be? So, so you know, we, we don't know. But uh, the 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 point is that you know, in uh, in aviation in India, there was a lot of pent up demand already. There was only three percent of Indians flying, and and certainly that number was was slated to rise. Now, there will be some negative impact of, of what has happened uh, during this crisis, uh, as Pavan was just saying. Uh, people might might uh, sit at home uh, and, 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 and just do video conference and not really uh, go to meet people. But but still, there, there see, for, from our perspective, there's a lot of pent up demand. Uh, we, we do have to prepare for a new normal, which will mean that we, we need to bring our costs down on a more permanent basis. We need to negotiate with our uh, aircraft manufacturers, with our... Uh, you know, uh, maintenance people and, and, and with all the airports uh, and try and bring costs down. We also need to make sure that all the structural costs that have been built in because of an inefficient system uh, in India, like, uh, you know, not having ATF under uh, the GST uh, regime, uh, having, uh, you know, air airports charging us a, a whole, uh, you know, lot of money for services that are not really rendered to us. Those issues can be fixed. So we'll have to get the cost down and have to uh, we'll have to be prepared for lower revenues. Uh, okay, in so the, in Ajay Singh's the... best hope is that the government has to step in and try and bail out the aviation sector. Sanjeev Puri, your group runs on the country's biggest hotels, FMCG, packaging, agri, information technology. What is your internal strategy telling you? What does the new normal look like at, uh, at ITC? Sorry, Rahul, I couldn't hear you clearly. Could you repeat the question? How are you seeing the new normal evolve? Once uh, COVID-19's imminent threat is over and you see life coming back more or less to normal, what will that new normal look like to you? Okay, so there, there are, uh, you see the impact to various sectors is different. So just like airlines, the hospitality is going to be hit the most. Lesser travel is of course going to make, uh, put, put additional pressure. But I think there will also be opportunities as we go forward because uh, as we settle down, because India is a is a market that is growing. We have a temporary setback. Things will come back. I think we can also uh, try to promote a lot more uh, domestic tourism. We have a lot of outbound tourism from India. So we have to reimagine that and look at alternatives. We have to provide a new uh, service pack that feels uh, guests are, are safe in our hotels. As far as consumer uh, end is concerned, I do believe that staples will be less impacted and they will, over a period of time, start getting back to normal. Discretionary categories could see some changes. We'll have to be agile to it and uh, uh, change our mixes as we, as we go along. Uh, things like paperboard, packaging, agriculture, I believe they will, they will all uh, come back uh, 
over a period of time uh, in the short term there will be some muted demand but i do expect they will come back because india is a consumption driven market it's a it's a setback it's a it's a large setback that will take quite some time for us to get over it maybe a year maybe longer depending on how severe the impact is but ultimately i i think these sectors will bounce back and start getting back to growth over a period of time okay a, a lot of what cii does is meetings you're bringing people together and nobody wants to come so you're also planning to do the next big meeting on zoom or hang out mr banerji what looked at from a pan india inc perspective what does the new normal look like to you so you know three things uh, uh, very quickly one is of course yes we are having a large number of forums we are already doing people of about 200 300 people on the zoom over the last few days without any hitch so that's that's go definitely going to be a new uh, normal for us we are also seeing a lot of training programs that cii does for its membership Uh, a lot of training programs online courses have become very popular in the last uh, few weeks a uh, lot of training programs uh, which are which relates to be it quality be it energy and so on and so forth uh, very uh, uh, these have become extremely uh, a new way of for us to work and the other thing of course which is which we are seeing coming across the small and medium companies also that uh, you don't have to have uh, uh, you know everyone working out of one particular place so a guy who can do work in madurai can be who can do work for madurai can be based out of bombay or or a guy based out of uh, madurai can do work in bombay so these are new things that have come up and 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 this will be so so the, going back to your earlier point this will have a phenomenal effect on the job dynamics in the country and therefore uh, this entire issue of uh, really seeing how people fit in to the new need for for indian industry would be very very critical so a complete uh, backup uh, in terms of training retraining would be extremely important for people to fit in and to be relevant in the new normal really and on a lighter note and i'll start with uh, dr goenka what's the one thing you've done during this uh, lockdown that you never thought you'd get a chance to do cut vegetables uh, which i have not <laughs> done i think in 20 years Yes. So that is something uh, new. So, Chief Executive of uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, like a lot of other Indian men, especially sabzi cut rate, and that a lot of people in our newsroom have been cribbing that we never had to do this. Now we are sitting at home cutting some vegetables. That's very interesting, Ajay Singh. What have you been up to, which we didn't ordinarily associate with you? Well, I, I never thought I'd spend so much time with my kid. I have a three-year-old. I never ever thought that I could, you know, uh, be jumping around with her on her trampoline uh, for, you know, like half a day. Ah, oh, that's cute. Uh, Uh, Sanjeev Puri, what have you been up to? What insights can you give us into what you've been doing when you're not running ITC? Sorry, I didn't hear you, Rahul. Sorry. So I'm saying, what is it that you've done during this lockdown that you never thought you'd get a chance to do? Well, Rahul, I I, I wish we had uh, more time, but actually it's been like quite a hectic period uh, because a lot of uh, resetting of the organization was required, and you know we had to besides work from home, there was. Uh, a lot of work to be done on make, making sure that essential supplies are in the market and there were a lot of issues to be ironed out on a day to day basis so i think we have been rather busy during this period but the good thing we have learned is to be able to work on a distributed fashion and be able to do that well chandrajit banerji i'm interesting to see you're smiling and i want to see what that smile means what is it that you've been doing that you never thought you get a chance to do So uh, there's no difference between a Sunday and a Monday now, which is fine. But I never thought that I'd be attending many meetings in shorts, which I've been doing. <laughs> What are you wearing now? Are you wearing shorts? Are you actually <laughs> trousered up? <laughs> Just kidding. We <laughs> we leave, we'll leave it. We leave that for that later. Uh, for the this has been interesting. You know, whether it's cutting vegetables, uh, whether it's jumping with a three-year-old on a trampoline, it's interesting to know what you've been up to. And more important, I was very. interested in knowing what you think the new normal will look like because there's some sharp insights there and sort of shape everybody's workplace in the future for the time being for joining us chandrajit banerji sanjeev puri dr pavan goen kana jai singh thank you very much this was an india inc brainstorm remember till you don't know where the problem ends you don't know how to base your calculations but it's still important to know what they're thinking and how they see the economy bounce back thank you very much for joining in